Hi kids and welcome back to this is day three of learning the Psalm 23 um, which starts the Lord is my shepherd so again here's our all of our verses in this chapter and I've highlighted what we've learned so far and you guys can maybe now even tell me that if I could hear you um, using just your pictures so remember our first picture this is verse one and it's a picture of a shepherd and a sheep so the Lord is my shepherd and our second picture, he gives me everything that I need. So that was what we've learned so far. Yesterday I said the little ones could sing a song and even the older ones too, that we can sing this together. Instead of singing, I'm so happy, very happy, right in the middle, we can even sing the, he gives me everything I need. So the Lord is my shepherd, the Lord is my shepherd. He gives me everything I need, the Lord is my shepherd. And that's just verse one right there. You learned the whole first verse. And like I said, I've highlighted it on my piece of paper, what we've already learned. And we still have this big chunk left, but we're gonna work on it just slowly, bit by bit. We're gonna do all of chat verse two today because it kind of fits together. And I love this picture of how God provides for the needs of the sheep and how it can remind us that he provides for our needs. And the next verse says, he lets me lie down in fields of green and he leads me beside quiet waters. And it's just a beautiful picture to us up here in Canada right now in our part of North Bay. Um, we still have lots of snow. There's not too much green, but I'm sure that all of you know how in the summertime when it's hot and you've been out maybe for a walk, when you get to the water and you sit down in the grass and you watch that water, just how restful that is and how peaceful and how great it feels to sit there on the green grass. And that's for us as people. And God has made that provision and that part of beauty for us in creation. And yet for sheep, it's even more important. And I just think of how a shepherd walking around, maybe in a dry desert area or the wilderness, and when they get, get to that green pasture, how the sheep now have something to eat, that's their food, the green grass, and they get to the water and that's where they drink out of those quiet waters and it's safe for them to go and get a drink. And that's God providing for their needs, the shepherd meeting what they need in order to survive for another day. And it reminds us how when God is our shepherd and he's meeting our needs, maybe we're walking and we don't see those needs being met right away, but God will lead us into those places. If you have another piece of paper, you can get it out now and we're gonna use the whole piece of paper today. All right, today, instead of folding our paper and only doing half of the page, we're gonna use the whole piece of paper. And instead of using a pencil and just doing it in one color, I thought we could use our two colors, the green fields and the still water. And it doesn't have to be a great picture, but it's just to remind us that he leads us into these green pastures or he brings us to where we can lay down in the nice green grass. So you can draw it as grass, you can just color it all in however you want. And then I left a little bit of an open area here for the streams, the quiet waters that, that we can go and be um, rested and restored and have our needs met. And this is just to remind us how God um, takes care of us. So this is verse two, and we can even, if you want, just draw somebody laying down in the green grass. Ah, oh, they're relaxing and they're maybe taking a little bit of a nap because they are being restored. And that's what we're gonna talk about tomorrow. But right now, and you can even color them in, make this look a little bit better. I'm obviously not doing too great a job here with my coloring, but that's our second verse. So our second picture, or our second verse, the third picture we've drawn, but he makes me to lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside quiet waters. And isn't that just a beautiful summer picture? Again, God knows sometimes we are in the winter and there's not much green grass, maybe there's not much open water, and yet he will take care of our needs. And if you want to write it down, you can just turn it over and write, he lets me lie down in oops, fields of green grass. And that's the version, the, 
new international readers version and he leads me beside quiet waters and I just wrote it out like that you can write it out however you like on the back sometimes it helps me to see the words whatever works for you guys if all you want to do is draw the picture and remember he lets me lie down in fields of green grass isn't that beautiful and he leads me beside quiet waters so maybe you guys can say it with me now he lets me lie down in fields of green grass he leads me beside quiet waters Thank you guys, and I hope you're having fun learning these verses. I just love memorizing. I think I've said that already, and it really helps to us to draw the pictures or to see them in a different way and to think about what that means and how God is meeting our needs today. Look forward to talking to you again soon.